All right, so 1A. So what we've been doing, right, is we've been going through that linear equations booklet, and that's allowed us to have a very thorough recap of um, equations of lines. Stuff hopefully we've sort of seen before, and if we haven't, we've developed those skills. And so now we're ready to start looking at some real-life applications of the mathematics. Who the punk it, hey? So 1A, linear relationships. I'll just make a quick comment about 11G. So 11G was finding the equation of a line, and we did that only in y-intercept form. I'm going to leave finding it in general form as thought of an extension activity, and I'll link that to you guys uh, in an email. So 1A, linear relationships. We have two variables are linearly related if they are connected by a straight line. Uh, and then we have one special property, which is called direct proportion. The variables are in direct proportion if it goes through 0, 0. On the Cartesian plane, we call that the point of origin. Okay, The point of origin where the Cartesian plane originates from, where it's starting point is 0, 0. X is 0, Y is 0 at that point. Okay, we've got Mario is a plumber. He charges 70 bucks per hour. Luigi, on the other hand, charges $100 call-out fee. Okay, that means for him to come to your house, it costs $100 just to rock up at your doorstep. Petrol, you know, means he's not doing other jobs and so forth, but his hourly rate, you can see, is a bit cheaper. Okay, part A, fill in the following table. So let's have a go at this. We've got time in hours, zero, one, two. We've got Mario's cost, and then we've got Luigi. So, for zero hours, if Mario costs $70 per hour flat rate, zero hours, Mario is going to be zero dollars here. Alright. For one hour, Mario would be $70. And for two hours, Mario would be $140. Alright. Luigi, on the other hand, for zero hours, for him to just rock up at your doorstep, costs $100. But then he charges $50 per hour, right? So for one hour, it would be $150. For two hours, it would be $200. Okay, and we can keep on going. Fill in the following table, complete. Table is complete. Part B, state the equation of the cost of each plumber. So, these are linearly related because they increase by the same amount each time. Mario is going up by 70 each time. Alright? Luigi is going up by 50 each time. So, if they have an increasing by the same amount, that means they're going to be linearly related. So, we know they're line line. Now, we're going to determine the equation of their, um, their cost. A couple of ways we can go. I'm going to take us back to the graph of the equation. Let's start thinking about these as points, okay? Time can be on the x-axis and dollars can be on the y-axis. So I'm gonna do a bit of a sketch up here. So I'll, I'll start nice and small, we'll go from one to two to three to four. This is time in hours, okay, along the x-axis. And then on the y-axis, we're gonna have dollars and you can see like it's already going up to 200. So I might crank that up to um, let's say four, mm, let's even go 300, and I'll split this into three parts, you know, so we've got 100, 200, 300. Okay? Um, and so we're just going to approximately plot the points as we see them. So the first point is Mario. Mar let's, let's just focus on Mario, and I'll do Mario in red, hey, if I've got red, that'd be cool. Mario wears the red cap, Luigi's green. So, Mario's first point is zero time costs zero dollars. All right, so his first point is gonna be right here at the point of origin. Zero time costs zero dollars. When time is one, after one hour, his cost is $70. So we're gonna just do that approximately. That's gonna be about there, right? After one hour, $70. And then after two hours, he's going to be 140. So that's going to be about there. 
And we can keep going, right? You can keep plotting, all right? As time goes across one, Mario goes up 70. Okay, across one, <coughs> up 70. Across one, up 70. So before we jump to Luigi and plot Luigi, let's just focus on Mario. The equation of the line for Mario. Now, it's a line, which means it has the equation y equals mx plus c. y equals mx plus c. This is our x-axis, this is our y-axis. Okay? On the x-axis we've got time, on the y-axis we've got dollars. So, we need the slope and we need the y-intercept. And if we have those two things, we've got the equation of the line. So there's quite a few ways we can figure it out. Firstly, these are coordinates. That zero, zero. This is 170. This is 2, 140. All right. When time is zero, the cost is zero. When time is one, the cost is one, uh, 70. So they're coordinates. So we could determine the slope from the coordinates, right? What is slope? Y2 take y1, 1x2, take x1, that's the slope. We've got, we can use any of these three sets of coordinates, it's all going to end up the same. Alright, we can use any of them. So that's the first way we can get the slope, let's do that and then we'll confirm it um, using another process. So hopefully by this stage we've been doing lots of slope calculations and when you get to sort of maths teacher level, you just look at it, you just go, all right, y2 take y1, or x2 take x1. If you want to label them, feel free, go ahead and label them. Uh, but it's not like you're getting marks for that part. So y2 take y1 divided by x2 take x1. All right, we have 70 divided by 1. Our slope is 70. Hmm, gee, that is fascinating. What's he cost per hour? $70 per hour. So there's a clear link to be made there. Okay. And of course, the, the, probably the most simple way to think about slope though is what is the rise divided by run? Okay. We've gone across one and up 70. All right. Remember when we first introduced slope, it was change in y divided by change in x. All right. What's our change in x? We've gone from zero to one. So our change in x is 1. What's our change in y? We've gone from y is 0 to y is 70. So we got our slope is 70. The slope for the equation of Mario is 70. So we can, we can, we can write it like this. Um, y of, and we could put a subscript, y of Mario, the equation of the line for Mario, or y of m, equals 70x plus c. Alright, 70x plus c. This is how we were doing it last lesson. We need to know, what is the value of C? C is the y-intercept. Zero. zero. Okay, we can see the y-intercept. It occurs here when x is zero, y is zero. So the value of C is zero. All right? C equals zero. We can see it from here. Therefore, Mario's equation is just 70x. And this is fantastic because this tells us, G'day guys, let's get some tricky. This tells us the cost of Mario for any value of time. You could work out how much does it cost to employ him for eight hours? And you just chuck the eight in there. 560 bucks. All right. Um, how much does it cost to employ him for 10 hours? 70 times 10, 700 hours. So that's the cost of Mario. Okay, let's do Luigi. So I've got my green marker over here. So Luigi. So first let's plot the points. We've got when time is zero, y is 100. So here's our first point for Luigi. Zero, 100. Let's plot the rest of the points. We've got one and 150. We've got two and 200. All right, and I'm going to sketch them. I'm going to sketch them because they're going like that, and the red one is going like this.
Okay, so first let's find Luigi's equation. Remember, Luigi's equation, so I'll, I'll call it Y for Luigi, is mx plus c, where m is the slope of Luigi's equation. c is the y-intercept. So you might remember from here, we had Mario charges 70 bucks per hour and his slope was 70. Over here we've got Luigi charges 50 bucks per hour. Alright, so we could hypothesize that's going to be his slope. We could determine it using coordinates. We could determine it just by looking at x goes across 1, y goes up 50. x goes across 1, y goes up 50. So therefore for Luigi, his change in y is 50, and his change in x is 1, 50 divided by 1, 50. Okay, it's confirmed. The hourly rate is the slope. So, we need the y-intercept. And we can get that straight from here. Okay, it crosses the y-axis at 100. So therefore, Luigi's equation is 50x plus 100. We've got the equation of both plumbers. All right. So now you can work out. Well, how much does it cost to employ Luigi for 10 hours? All right. We put the 10 in there. 50 times 10, 500. All right. Plus another 100 dollars, 600 dollars to employ Luigi for 10 hours of work. Okay, so what's the next part say to do? Which of the equations is directly proportional? Okay, so right at the top, the second dot point. The equation is said to be in direct proportion if it goes through zero, zero. Which one goes through zero, zero, Mace? Yeah, Mario. Mario, very good. All right, so we can answer that. That's part C. Mario is in direct proportion. Okay, last one, D. Find the point of intersection and state its significance. Find the point of intersection. So what's going to happen, you can see, Luigi's slope is not as steep as Mario's. Eventually, Mario's going to catch up and they're going to intersect at some point. So the first thing we're going to do is find that point of intersection. Okay, guys, you're really interrupting my class here. The first thing we're going to do is find that point of intersection and then state what does it mean? What does it mean in terms of the problem? So we want to find when does the green line equal the red line? When does the green line equal the red line? When is Luigi's cost equal to Mario's cost? And all we're going to do is we're going to equate Luigi's line with Mario's line. So I think I've got a bit of room here to do it. So I'll do it up here. I'll do it in black. So Luigi's line is 50x plus 100. So we're going, when does Luigi's line equal Mario's line? Mario's line is 70x. All right, Luigi's line, 50x plus 100. Mario's line, 70x. Now we're going to break this down to get x all by itself. All right, we're going to break it down to get x all by itself. So I'm looking at this, and there's lots of things we can do. But when we're solving an equation, we want the variable on one side and the numbers on the other. It doesn't matter which way we sort of do it. So I'm looking, if I take away 50x from both sides, okay, it'll cancel there. I'll have the number here. And then over here, I'm going to have 70x take away 50x, all right? So I've put the variable on one side. So that's what we're gonna do first. Let's take 50x from both sides. So take 50x, take 50x. So that's gonna cancel. We're left with 100. 
And if I have 70 lots of x and I take away 50, we're going to have 20 lots of x. Okay? And then to get x by itself, we've got 20 times x. We need to divide both sides by 20. Okay, here we have 20 at the top and the bottom as a product, so it can cancel. So we're left with x on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, 100 divided by 20 is 5. So their lines are equal to one another when time is 5. Right, I haven't sketched it very well on the graph, but when time is 5, that's when their lines are going to intersect. Okay, does anyone know what it means in the context of a problem? It means that after hiring both columns for 5 hours, they'll both cost 350 dollars. Very good. When time is 5, alright, we can see, if time is 5, if we put 5 in here, Mario is going to be $350. And if we put 5 in here, we're going to have 550 times 5, 250 plus 100, $350. So when time is 5, 5 hours, they both cost the same. Alright? Who is it who is it cheaper to employ if you've got a job that takes three hours? Mario. Mario, okay, so so we can see for two for two hours, Mario is only 140 bucks. For three hours, he's going to be 210, while Luigi's going to still be 250. Alright, so Mario is still a bit cheaper even for three hours. But what about if you have a, a, a 10 hour job? Luigi's going to be cheaper because if we look at Luigi's equation, 50 times 10, 500, plus 100, 600. All right, 600 bucks. Up here with Mario, 70 times 10, 700 bucks. All right, so if we continue to plot this out, all right, if we can plot out the table, we can see um, who's going to be cheaper for each period of time that we need to employ them for. Or we can see it from the graph, because what's on the y-axis? We've got cost here, and as time moves across, we can see Mario's steeper, so eventually he will be more expensive, but for the first five hours he is cheaper, right? So there we have a direct application of equations of lines. Um, we've made a number of links between slope, between hourly cost, and then probably the only thing we've extended it to is direct proportion. So on the front of your notes book is the checklist, all right? And so you can see today, we're gonna to start with 1A. We've got those questions to work through. So that's what we're gonna start with today. We will go through a few more things as well. Um, I'm gonna be away on Thursday and Friday. I'm heading up to Adelaide. So um, we might go through a few things today. And the other thing I want to say about that is because of my absence, I'm going to be in the study centre on Wednesday night, okay? If you guys want to catch up and go over a few things that you might miss out um, on Thursday and Friday. But we'll have videos there for you to have a look at um, to make sure we're sort of up to scratch. I'm going to put a bit of a plan up here so we can discuss it uh, about what you're going to work on while I am away. All right, so let's get straight into exercise 1A. We've got question 1A, question 2, question 3, etc. So let's do it.